Welcome to the Michigan Department of Health and Human Services virtual training for home help individual provider revalidation. There are seven videos which will help walk you through the required revalidation steps for home help individual providers. This video covers step one, provider basic information. Links to each video can be accessed on our webpage at www.michigan.gov slash home help. This training is specific for any individual home health provider completing a provider revalidation. When you are required to complete a revalidation, you will receive a letter from the Michigan Department of Health and Human Services stating that your enrollment in the CHAMP system is due for revalidation. The revalidation letter will be mailed to the correspondent's address on file in your CHAMP's profile. You will be given a 90-day window to complete the revalidation. Please note, this is a multi-step process that does not have to be completed all at one time. CHAMPS will save your information and you can resume where you left off when you log back in. However, you must complete your revalidation within the 90-day window. Failure to revalidate your enrollment within the 90 days may result in termination of your enrollment with Michigan Medicaid, which in turn will not allow you to be paid for services provided. You will need to log into CHAMPS through my login to complete your revalidation. Information on how to log into my login or reset your my login user ID and password can be found on our website www.michigan.gov slash home help. Once you have logged in and are on your my inbox landing page, you will need to go to the provider tab at the top and select manage provider information. This will take you to the revalidation step screen. You will notice a red alert at the top saying you need to update all steps to complete your revalidation process. Click on the blue hyperlink for step one, provider basic information, to begin your revalidation. A pop-up window will open with the provider details screen. Any information you previously updated on this screen in CHAMPS will show here. Review all of the mandatory field information which is marked with an asterisk and make any updates as necessary. In the example shown, the user has noticed their email address is incorrect and updates that field. You can update any field simply by deleting the information already there and typing in the correct information. When reviewing your address, even if you don't update it, be sure to click the Validate Address button to the right of the zip code fields. When you have validated your address, a blue message will appear telling you that address validation has been successful. You must validate your address before completing step one. Once you are done updating every field and have validated your address, click the OK box on the lower right hand side of the page. You will then be returned to the revalidation steps screen. You will notice that step one now has a status of complete and a modification status of updated. This indicates that you have completed step one, provider basic information. Thank you for watching the Michigan Department of Health and Human Services virtual training for home help individual provider revalidation. As a reminder, this was the first of seven videos which will help walk you through the required revalidation steps for home help individual providers. The next video in the series covers step two, locations, and can be accessed on our webpage at www.michigan.gov slash home help. If you have any questions about your revalidation, please contact us by email at providersupport at michigan.gov or by calling the Home Health Provider Support Hotline at 1-800-979-4662. Thank you for participating in the Michigan Medicaid program.